Hi. Thanks for joining me here on this special day. It's special because it's beautiful outside, as you can see. Yeah. It's beautiful, and the earth is amazing. So this is what I want to talk about. How amazing everything is. And so I want to buy a basic camera because unfortunately as most of you know a lot of my things when i was in belize a lot of my things got stolen so i was only able to take a few very few selected items with me in fact i was actually only able to take one thing with me and that was well almost well a little more than one thing but basically my phone and so i just I'm going to get a camera and I'm going to be wanting to film outside. I'm going to be filming, uh, you know, what we do in the land. We have a the guy that owns this place has a land and I'm working with him and Stefan and uh, he has a land not too far away, about 12, 13 kilometers away. And basically we are farming there and we are going to be doing a lot of great things. So this video is on and unfortunately even though i love to make i would love to make short videos because people have low attention spans sometimes it's not possible and i need to make longer videos i like to chat with you and that's why i like to keep this video long just for your viewing pleasure okay here's my smoothie right here smoothie smoothie it's a lot of goodness in there so the earth, our lives are beautiful. Some people have, you know, issues within our lives and we feel that, you know, we're getting into depression or we're getting ourselves into sickness because of it. A lot of stress causes a lot of illness, causes back pain and causes coughing and causes you know, sore throats and cause all kinds of illnesses, causes cancers even to, you know, cancer cells to even flourish. And so what we need to do is we need to understand that every situation, no matter if it's good or bad, is a good situation because we learn from it and it's there for a reason. It's telling you something that is telling you something. It's teaching you something about life, something about our lives, something about the future, all this stuff. And so the world is beautiful. You can see that the world is beautiful. Now there is a lot of, and don't get me wrong, I'm not naive, there's a lot of, you know, bad things going on, a lot of violence and a lot of wars and a lot of, you know, famine and a lot of all these things happening. And don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of beauty as well. And people forget, especially the media, never covers things like the beauty like um you know and if they do they put one or two good feel good uh, messages within the whole segment but the majority of it is who killed who and you know bombings and other other places and troops and and politics and all these things that really are keeping us in fear keeping us in that fear and violent mentality and the beauty of this earth is tremendous the beauty on this earth is tremendous and people don't understand that i remember when i was in belize i was there for many months and basically when i was living there it was peace and harmony yes there was times when we did see the destruction of some you know forests and we did see destruction of maybe some killing of, uh, of animals because we heard gunshots and so forth. But for the majority part of it, you know, the earth, the environment around, the, the forests around, everything was peaceful. Yes, there might have been the here and there animal that eats another animal to survive and so forth. But for the majority part of it, it was peaceful. You know, the Gibnat or the Paka going out and 
eating from our compost pile, the hummingbird going to the passion fruit flower, you know, the insects and all the other animals working in harmony with each other and with the earth. It was literally, you know, a blessing and literally everything, every being working in harmony with each other. And so what happens is that in a system like that, people think because we're so bombarded with violence through through movies, through Hollywood, even documentaries, all these wildlife documentaries are portraying, you know, dog eat dog world, all, some animal eats another animal and they, I didn't see that at all. I didn't see that at all. I didn't see, you know, but then again, we've lost a lot of our biodiversity. We lost a lot of the naturally free roaming animals. And so what I saw out there probably 20 years ago, there was more, or 30 years ago, there was more naturally free roaming animals in nature. Today, there's probably, who knows how, how much are left, how many animals are left. But the beauty it's the beauty, it's the harmony that I saw. Yes, you can see definitely in certain parts of the world there's disharmony, there's people abusing and, and killing other other humans, killing other non-humans. We can see poaching, we can see hunting, we can see well, animal hunting, that is, because you can hunt for cassava, for example, and you'll be compassionate. But when you hunt for animals, you are not hunting. You're a coward. But these people, when they're with other people, they might be wonderful people. They've just been indoctrinated, and they've been, you know, in that culture that hunting is acceptable, that eating animals is acceptable, and eating their secretions is acceptable. And so when we start to realize that there's more beauty than there's, than there's violence, and when we start to picture in our minds, we're not being naive, we understand that there's violence in this world, we understand that there's all these problems in the world, but the more we envision, just like we, if we say, I love myself, I love myself, the more we say these things, the more we envision a utopia, a Garden of Eden, we, we envision Garden of Eden, we envision Garden of Eden in our minds, and we go out there to nature and we embrace nature with all our love, we embrace the animals, all our love, the more we envision, and the more we actually are in tuned in our daily lives, our practices, being compassionate and loving towards all life, that's when we're going to get to the world that we want to live in. Today, we don't want to live in this world, and we think we, you know, we want to commit suicide, and we can't handle it any longer. And we have our problems in our lives, and uh, it's like, yeah. Yeah, but majority of people that are watching this video, virtually everyone that's watching this video and watching YouTube right now, we have the opportunity to make this a better place. We have an opportunity to stop eating the animals and the secretions. We don't live in tribes anymore. We live in towns and cities and we have the opportunity to eat vegan. All that means is eating plants. <laughs> Plants, what's so simple, simpler than that? What's so simpler than eating plants? And we want to eat something that comes out of the teat of an animal, or the ass of an animal, or the breast of an animal. <laughs> so we keep making all these excuses and we keep living in fear because that's what the media wants, that's what the government wants. They want you to live in fear. Come on, people, wake up. <laughs> wake up because we need to live in a peaceful world. I mean, I want to live in a peaceful world. I want to live in a loving world. And I know you probably do too. So why do we keep making these excuses? 
And why do we keep living in fear and, oh, you got to get this vaccination. You got to get this vaccination. You got to get this vaccination. There are natural remedies for virtually every disease out there. Every, every disease out there, there's virtually a natural remedy. And, and just in case, you know, nature can't solve whatever cure you have, then the last solution is to visit the conventional doctor. Then the last solution is to visit a hospital. But before that, the greens, the fruits, the veggies, they're your friends. Eat them, eat them, eat them, use them. There's cures for malaria. There's cures for everything. Everything out there, there's cure for. And I'm not going to stop making these videos until we, we reach a vegan world. <laughs> In fact, I'm not going to stop making these videos until we reach a fruitarian world. A Garden of Eden world. That's right. Thank you for joining me. Like this video. Share it around with all your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe. We are interconnected.com. It's out there. It's available. Mobile site coming out very shortly. And don't forget, uh, the Lost Love is available uh, on uh, YouTube for free, 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 free. So check it out. It's amazing. I put all so many months into working on the audiobook. Uh, the journey is also free, so it's a free ebook. And how to create a perfect vegan life in paperback ebook formats. It's all available on Amazon. Don't forget to write a review on Amazon for all my books, The Lost Love, uh, How to Create a Perfect Vegan Life, uh, Journey, and The Interconnectedness of Life. Thank you. We love you all. All the animals love you. I love you. And thank you for joining me. 15,000 subscribers. Thank you.